guys, um, here we go. I'm going to talk about all the upgrades I have for my uh, Stampede 4x4. And yes, it is done. Um, let's start off with the uh, tires. I have Trencher Proline tires on um, Traxxas All-Star rims. And I have Proline Badlines on All-Star rims. Um, I got a Venom, a Venom battery. Venom. Uh, I really like the battery. Uh, I put a uh, Sidewinder SCT version in this. Uh, it came with a, uh, this is actually the version 3. It has the fan built on top of the EC. And uh, I got a uh, 3800 KV motor on it. And uh, let's see, let's start off with the body. So this body is um, purple actually. It's actually purple. Um, yesterday, which was Sunday, um, I maxed it off and everything, uh, decaled it up, whatever, painted it, and got my design on it. So, um, as you can see, I got the, uh, body lowering mod on this, and we're going to go ahead and take off this cap, and, um, I got purple Dubro, Dubro, so I said, purple Dubro, uh, clip retainers, um, you can get them, I got them at my local hobby shop. You can get them on the internet, or you might be able to get them at your local hop shop. Um, let's see if you can see the body. So this is a uh, J Concepts uh, Ford Raptor SVT body. Um, I painted it purple and black. The scheme for this truck is going to be purple. Um, I loved how this body came out. I uh, did a. Uh, this purple is actually really like a darkish brownish purple. Which I love. And, um, well, the purple when I first put it on was way too dark. So I actually did the purple and left all the black, all this black stuff. I did the black glass, and yes, I know you're supposed to go darker to lighter, but it was easier this way. So, um, I just, uh, I pretty much, what I did was, uh, I did all the purple, and it was kind of dark. It was darker than I wanted it. And I knew if I sprayed that black, it was going to get even darker. So I did the purple and left it masked up and let it dry for about 30 minutes. And then a silver coat over the purple. And then I did uh, unmask all the stuff I wanted black. And then I did black and then I just sprayed the whole thing black. Which um, turned out really good. Um, um, yeah. Uh... So that's pretty much it for the body. Um, I really like the body the way it turned out. So let me tell you what I did to the body. Um, I got the bed back here black. I got the fender wells black on all of them. And I got this bumper right here black. Um, now this front right here I got from Proline. And I seen it in um, Radio Car Action. One of their magazines had a uh, Proline Ford Raptor body on the front of it. And they had... Uh, the main color they had it around the little grills right here so I did that and they had a black hood and I love that so I did that and then I got black around my windows and of course the black bed and then I got the black bumper with the uh, castle right here don't know if you can see that um and that's about it I, don't, I, I just put a couple decals on here I put a uh, proline decal on here and uh, the castle decal, and then I did the raptor decals. Uh, I don't know if I should put more decals on here. Um, tell me what you think. I kind of like it simple because, it, like, if you put too much decals on it, it gets like overwhelmed and it looks like a toy to me. So I was trying to keep it pretty cool. Right, the truck. So uh, first off, I dyed the chassis right when I got it. I dyed it black um, using Rit dye. And I will be doing that to my Rustler, and I'll do a how-to video on it. Um, like I said, I got Proline Trenchers and Badlands. Um, I got off eBay. People have, like, always wondered how to mount stuff into the Traxxas vehicles, like the castle stuff. And there's a dude on eBay that's uh, Snappy RC, and he makes these mounts and stuff that are perfect. I mean, it even mounts a switch and everything. And I really like it. Um, and I'll let you hear it if you want. Let's 
just take this stuff off. Um, and this is a uh, 2S LiPo actually, instead of a uh, 3S, because the system can only handle 2S. And I really like this system. It's faster than the Millennium on 2S. And it's doing that because I don't have my controller. It's upstairs, but I'm not going to go get it just so you can hear that. But other than that, this thing is amazing. Um, I have the um, battery um, extension tray, which I didn't need, but I thought if I ever needed it in the future, it's like whatever. Uh, I got a couple. I got a Venom decal right here, Proline and MIP decal. Um, I got T-Bone racing bumper in the rear. I got a Venom decal right here, a Proline, and a T-Bone racing decal right there. Um, this thing is a beast. I love it. Um, I got the Traxxas motor mount plate, the one that's machined more. I got the uh, Traxxas uh, motor mount plate. Um, I should have got a king's head, but I didn't know at the time. Um, I got a clear gear cover on it. Uh, I got the stock servo, which I need to upgrade. Um, I got MIP CVDs in the rear only because, well, I didn't really need them in the front because I'm not running a 3S lap or anything. And so far it's held up great. I've done it on jumps. I've flipped this thing plenty of times without the body on top of it. Um, uh, when I got this system, it came with a castle motor fan. And if you get these motor fans, you can put them on the Volenium and they say they work great. Um, and that's about it almost. Oh, I, the biggest upgrade I probably have on this thing is the uh, Proline shocks which are amazing. They are work really good. But if you get the Proline shocks, you need to get the upgraded uh, spring kit because they're kind of mushy. They're just a little bit mushy. So I still need to get those. Um, I got all the Traxxas blue alloy stuff, front uh, caster blocks and rear bearing carriers and the rear bearing carriers back here. And that worked out great. Um, they do really good. I just had the MIPs um, rub a little bit on them. So right where they like, where it bends, the MIP would rub right here. So I just took a file and filed it down a little bit and that's about it. And um, I have the uh, mod that uh, Jetlag does. Except for I used a different one. I didn't use the edit bar for these, I bought two of the things that that come with the uh, Rustler. You just buy the Rustler kit. It comes with uh, two of these and one tie bar. And it's like $3 instead of 5 bucks for one of these with one of those. So it's a lot cheaper in the long run. Um, but I probably will not use them anymore actually. Because it's kind of low, too low on my body. And uh... I'll probably change these out to RPM and then get the uh, J Concept ones because J Concepts does make black ones that are already pre made and everything. You don't really have to do anything. And they just screw right on. I have RPM all over this. I have RPM uh, arms. I think that's the only thing RPM I have on this actually. Right now. Yeah. I have the uh, RC Screws uh, kit. And there's going to be a, a couple more upgrades that I'll have, just not yet. Um, so please stay tuned, and thanks for watching. And um, I want to give a shout out to Carlos, because he's sailing his stampede, and I'm sorry about that. do get a slash, but he's getting into racing. So I hope he has a good time with that. Um, and I thought about getting into racing, it's just... There's not a track around here. I mean, the closest track's like 30 minutes away, 35 minutes away. So I'm like, uh, not really. I mean, my closest hobby shop's 20 minutes away. So that's not too good either. So um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, 
Thanks for watching. See you later.